I am bringing back one of the most goaded builds that went viral on the previous NBA 2Ks which is the 7 foot 3 point guard builds on NBA 2K25. So someone has been requesting for me to come out and make this build so I said you know what I got y'all and in today's video that's all I'll be doing. I'll, I'll be showing you guys how to create the 7 foot 3 point guard build on NBA 2K25. Now I do not want to make this intro super long or anything like that but if you are new to the channel please make sure to drop a like on the video and if you haven't already click the subscribe button and upload daily NBA 2K25 videos. Build videos so tutorials and much more so guys go ahead and stay tuned for that but without further ado let's get into today's seven foot three point guard build on beat 2k25 so first thing is first whenever you want to make a point guard build you cannot go past seven foot right so technically there is no way for you to make a point guard build for the position as a seven foot three point guard so what you have to do is go to the position and click center once you click center go to the height s73 for the weight we're going to go with 230 for the weight why because we want to be able to have that shooting we want to be able to have that point guard ability right for the wingspan go with seven three trust me with these right here we will be able to have the point guard stats why because whenever i brought down the 230 for the weight my speed went up my shooting went up i was able to have more of a point guard ability type of play style so technically with the weight and with the wingspan being very low then you are going to be able to have the point guard ability as i said once again go ahead do that and trust me you guys are gonna love it now first thing is first what i'm gonna start off by showing you guys is the shooting so for a seven foot three center build of course you guys are like wait shooting is gonna be horrible i can't shoot on this build well you guys are actually wrong why because for this build i managed to get a mid-range shot of a 90 correct and with this you will actually gonna get a plus two so technically you'll be able to have a mid-range shot of a 92 now whenever we look at the three point correct we will have a 85 three point plus four so technically we're gonna have like an 89 three-point shot as a seven foot three center build at the end of the day so with the shooting we are able to get the most important badges as well so definitely you know go ahead and push your badges to the highest which is for an example tier one we are able to get set shot specialist on gold for our three-point shot with a dead eye on silver then we have limitless range on bronze so technically you definitely want to have your mid-range and three-point shot all the way to the max so what i did with this build is i maxed out the most important attributes that we need for this build and focused on the badges as well so our offensive and defensive rebound i definitely wanted to max those out no matter what because you know we are going to be a center build at the end of the day so we definitely want to have that high range rebounding so for our offensive rebound 83 with their defensive rebound of an 85 now as y'all just seen i went ahead and maxed out my speed i maxed out my agility my strength and vertical as well as just seen i went ahead and maxed it all out why because for that you have to max it all out to kind of be fast and kind of be of a player that's able to be close as possible to a point guard build because once again we do not want to focus on making a fully center build no we want to make it similar to a seven foot three point guard build not a center build now whenever we went up to the block i played around with the block i played around with my defensive wise and you know for the steal i definitely you definitely you definitely want to max that out for the perimeter defense definitely max that out as well with your interior defense for the block i went ahead and put that at an 80 just so i can have it even out with a few blocking badges to be able to you know kind of upgrade it from tier one to tier two and that type of stuff so for the pass accuracy we could actually go ahead and put our pass actually accuracy all the way up to a 99 but why put our pass accuracy up to a 99 when we do not need it that high yes you could get legend badges but that's just a waste of attributes due to the fact that you know with our pass accuracy as a center build it's not very important i'm gonna go ahead and talk about it later in the video and kind of go into more details now whenever we want to come into our finishing most center builds or big man builds in general will not have any good finishing due to the fact that they are heavy they are slow but with this build right here we have a 60 speed so we definitely want to go ahead and upgrade our driving dunk to a 60 and our standing dunk at a 85 with a post control of an 85 as well so if you want look it's totally up to you whenever it comes down to the post control right so whenever you come down to the post control if you want a hall of fame badge then you can go ahead and put your post control on an 84 if you do not want to have that phantom badge on hall of fame then you can go ahead and put that on a gold by having a 80 
post control and kind of put in the rest to where you know you can put the rest on your other finishing badges but what i did was i put the attributes mainly on my post control as an 84 so i can get the hall of fame badge and at the same time whenever you go down to your mid range and three point you will also be able to have the hall of fame badge as shooting so you're going to be a seven foot three build that's able to shoot with hall of fame and even legend badges with the cap breakers this year so for the post control go ahead and put that at an 84 your standing dunk go ahead and put that at an 85 then for your driving dunk go ahead and put that at a 75 you definitely want to max out your driving dunk just so you can get some cool dunk packages like Giannis and that type of stuff now for the driving layup you know the only reason i put my driving layup on a 75 due to the fact that i tried low layups and trust me it was horrible you definitely want some layups this year no matter what put a close shot go with an 85 close shot now you can definitely take away from your close shot and put it so you know somewhere else but for me close shot at an 85 was just good now once again for the pass accuracy i went ahead and put it at a 73 due to the fact that you know with centers we are known to throw the ball and it will easily get intercepted or stolen but this year what i did was with the seven foot three center build i went ahead and put the pass accuracy to a seven three just so i kind of be able to get dimers so technically if you're running the rack if you're running twos whatever it is and you're playing with a guard he is going to be able to shoot non-stop straight up green lights due to the fact that he has dimer as a point guard and you will also be able to have dimer on silver as a seven foot three center build now for the ball handle you know we are not going to be playing like a playmaker it's not very important but i went ahead i do not want to get ripped very easy so i put my ball handling on 50 with a speed of ball with a 44 so speed with the ball go ahead and max that out to a 44 and then look once again as i said you know pass accuracy whatever you can take away from that put it somewhere else if you'd like just depending on what you want to do what play style because you know everybody has their own play style for me after everything i felt like this was just all around like you know balanced this build is able to do it all right here you know with these attributes now of course once again as i said you know you can put a few here and there it's just totally up to you and how you want to play with it but me personally if you want to make a seven foot three build that's able to do it all i'm talking about shoot dunk get rebounds even steals all that type of stuff then this is the build and the attributes that you really want to go with you know what i mean because you know we have our interior defense right here look at this maxed out with good badges our perimeter defense we have gold off pop test you know we are able to get really good badges because that's what i really focused on of making this build as well i was focusing on the badges at the same time because i really want to get some hall of fame and even legend badges on a seven foot three build that's able to shoot which is the most important thing now for the block once again you know i had it at an 85 and if you put it at an 85 you will get paint patroller on silver with a few other badges all on silver with the cap breaker and stuff like that you can go ahead and upgrade it to gold so you will be chilling all around right now but offensive rebound we want to you know we definitely want to have some you know rebounding of course so definitely max that out this is what i like about this build that i was able to go ahead and max it all out and still not hit 99 right because look at this we are still at a 99 i mean 98 with a few attributes still left to put so we can get the potential overall at a 99 but look at this we already have it all maxed out offensive rebound maxed out defensive rebound maxed out the most important things are you know maxed out and that's what's very important about this build and for the speed you want to you know blow past people and don't you want to be fast all around move around the court speed is very important and that's why i went very low on the weight and the wingspan just so i can go ahead and have 60 speed i could go up with the weight kind of be heavier and bully people more but I was like, nah, I want to have that speed because this year's speed is very important. And, you know, 60 is just perfect. Most center builds and even most big man builds do not have a high speed. Most of them have like a 58, 55 speed and below. So trust me, you're all going to be guarding people. You're going to be fast already and have the advantage on most center builds, on most big man builds. So you're going to be chilling. Do not worry. You're going to be an all around goat. So this is the official build right here. We're going to go with the position of a center, height 7 three with the weight of 230 and the wing spell at 73 and once again these are the attributes we have a mid-range shot of a 90 three point shot of an 85 our offensive and defensive rebound are maxed all the way up so trust me you're gonna love this build go ahead check it out let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this build now for the shades of oh, look at this the first one is Joel Embiid that should tell you automatically you are a goaded center build Joel Embiid on this game is overpowered NBA he's overpowered trust me you're gonna be able to shoot block dunk 
do it all. And, you know, having Joel Embiid just, you know, that alone should tell you a lot about this building. Look at this. We are a two-way, three-level scoring threat. Correct. Why? Because we are a scoring threat machine, y'all. And that's exactly what we're going to do whenever we play park, twos, threes. You guys are going to love this build. Let me know down below what you guys think about this build. And I'm going to go ahead and put the gameplay of me using this build right now. Enjoy, y'all. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already. It's the one and only. It's Chico. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.